Yes, I know I'm late to the inscription train, but bear with me. Unfortunately, with inscription, I'm making the conscious choice to show pretty basic gameplay in the background, as I don't want to spoil anything beyond what it looks like at the start of the game. But I also don't want to waste time, so with that said, let's just dive into my first impressions after 8.7 hours. The initial phases of the game have you playing a card game against a crazy guy in a cabin. But beyond that, I mean it when I say that Inscription is unlike anything I've played before, and you'll most likely have a similar experience. On the surface, it's a roguelike deck builder, but the more you progress, the crazier and more varied the experience becomes. It's hard to get into without spoiling it, but the game is constantly changing the status quo and putting concepts and ideas in front of you that I've rarely seen in gaming, let alone in a roguelike. What that means for the player is that Inscription isn't afraid to surprise you. In fact, I think it's safe to say that nothing about Inscription's gameplay is safe. It takes risks that pay off and that make sense within the context of the game, and the gameplay loop is better off because of it. It's hard to criticize any element of its uniqueness just because it all fits in so well. That's not to say that any element is bad or unfun, however. Fundamentally, it's a deck builder and you'll get that core experience, but as I said, it's not afraid to throw crazy shit in front of you because it knows it'll work. Inscription pairs a very dark 3D pixel art-esque art style with incredibly unsettling sound design, creating this creepy atmosphere that also complements the themes the game is going for. One of the initial boss fights is a minor, and the sounds that play in the background are appropriately haunting. On a side note, this sounded very familiar to me having played Armor 2 and the DayZ mod. Um, just thought I'd throw that in there. Initially, Inscription is dark and creepy, and that tone stays throughout the entire game, but it's also not afraid to get meta or throw dark humor at you either. With Inscription, there are multiple dark themes, but one of them is the theme of sacrifice. This has been consistent throughout my playtime, and is evident in the cards that you play and the actions that you take. Inscription has just the right amount of challenge. It's not a deck builder that's constantly throwing stuff at you that you don't understand and that you don't have time to understand. It's a deck builder that gives you digestible synergies and cards so that you can come up with your own understanding of how you want to play. In saying that, it still provides unique challenges that do engage your brain. Mostly, this is in the form of bosses that have unique gimmicks you'll need to maneuver around. But even when you lose, it's not the bad kind of frustrating. You now know how to potentially counterplay that boss, so you come back with a better understanding and are more prepared. The challenge is complemented nicely by, at least in my initial 8 hours, many different roguelike elements, as you would expect. Not only do these elements fit in with the theme of the game, but for example you can sacrifice one card and transfer its abilities to another, but there are inherently ways to progress your deck and your run, meaning you can develop strategies and priorities and you can start to understand how to become more powerful. Nothing seems out of place and there are a lot of crazy combinations, which is an incredibly important part of a roguelike. Looking at the achievements, there's also plenty of reason for multiple playthroughs and extra challenges. One final thing I will say about Inscription is that whether it's the power creep or your understanding of the story in the world, everything is paced nicely. Inscription doesn't linger on anything too long, but also doesn't throw away anything it's been building up. No matter where you are in the game, you are constantly uncovering the mystery of your situation while simultaneously learning about new cards and synergies. The game doesn't panic and assume you're bored and end up whipping you around gameplay elements. Instead, it lets you linger on what you know and leaves the discovery up to you. So yeah, those were my very quick thoughts on Inscription from what I've played so far. I will definitely be playing more, but I doubt the praise I've given it here will waver. So I highly recommend you give it a go, especially if you're a fan of roguelikes or the deck building genre in general. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, subscribe, and see you next time.